Just the two of us We can make it if we try It's a wonderful feeling, isn't it, Weekenders? When you finally find your soulmate. You and I. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Yes, it looks like love is truly blossoming in Weekenderville, meaning Jordan can stop his self-love. Dirty boy. So thank you, Isabel. And the next set then is obviously moving in together. And then... Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> And El Jefe 2's been hit by Cupid's arrow. Not even Tin Armour could protect him. Not sure what Reaver's armor's made of. Callum likes Reaver. Reaver likes Reaver. But it probably wasn't going to stop Callum anyway. And even Tash wants to settle down. I'm going to speak to Jaden. We are or we're not. Yes or no. And so does Jaden. But maybe with somebody else. You are really different. I would absolutely marry you. Only Chloe's not had a swim in love's healing waters. I can't have a conversation with him without me just going off on one. Still, you never know what's just round the corner in Weekenderville. Now, don't panic, Weekenders. We've not forgotten the hotel. But they've all been doing so well, El Jefe's got one of his treats planned. I feel like I want to take the reps somewhere nice, just so we can all just bond a bit more, because I think they really deserve it. They've worked so, so hard. Get in the sea, have a splash around, get wet and wild. <laughs> do what we do best. <laughs> <laughs> I love water sports. I beg your pardon? I absolutely love water sports. Does anyone want to go on some pedalos? Yes! Ah, oh, family friendly water sports. Banana boats, the saucer things, the donuts, pedalos. Oh my god, David, look at David, please look at David, please look at David. You dive right in now, have I? <laughs> You've earned it. Oh my oh, god, David. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. It's an emergency. Well, that's going to hurt, isn't it, David? Net water sports. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Obviously, guys, I'm just going to have to go away. And what's worse than having to go to hospital with Tash? Jordan, lead the troops. Come with me, let's go, let's go! Yeah, leaving Jordan in charge. It's about to begin! Right, so positions for today as we are a couple of people down. Callum, you're going to be on bar by yourself, brother. Me and Reva, we're going to tackle reception. That means Chloe and Jaden, you are on welfare, baby! Whoa, whoa, whoa. King's back on his throne, I'm back in charge. They're my little puppets now. Dance, puppets, dance. And if you thought you were sick of his face now, just wait till you see this. Look at that. It's better. Yeah, that's better. Boom, boom. Jordan, 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 Fisher Bell. This is Moon. Yeah. So, like, what I've done with the place. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's one way to put a smile on the guests' faces. But there are other ways, aren't there, Chloe? I wonder if a really, really fit guy was Tasha's type down to a TK Minchu would. Probably. Because it's really hard. That is a tricky question. I really don't know. I can easily say, I, I, can, I can probably say I reckon she wouldn't, because she's this. Because she would or wouldn't this moment in time, so I don't think she would, but it's just like, it's out of respect, isn't it, really? But you don't know who's going to walk through the door. You haven't really got anything holding you back from getting your head turned, so. Absolutely nothing. Nothing, so you're just fully in full display. My head's 360. You know what? I'm happy being single because it always means you got the first dibs on who walks around the corner. Because you have. You have? Especially with Tash out of the picture. This next pair might really make your head spin. About time at all. High five? Yes. Nah. What you, what you gonna do? Yes, get your pump on, weekenders, because it's 23 year olds Matt 
and Josh. Matt's from London and I'm from Northamptonshire, so we've got a bit of like, a cute long distance relationship going on. No prizes for guessing what you two have in common? Both the same interest, both into the gym. You know, um, I train 14 times a week. Uh, sounds pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> that is a yeah. lot of sessions, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. 14 times? Well, I hope you've pumped up your third wheel, because Josh has got history with one of our regulars. I met Chloe out in Magaloo. We just kind of just clicked, I guess. You know, maybe we can just pick things up where we left off. Josh has been buzzing about us. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Chloe. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> yeah, I missed a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you've had a quick workout on the beach then. You'll want to look your best for Chloe, won't you, Josh? What did you go for this bit? I don't know. How the hell did you get in? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good lads, yeah, Josh, nice to meet you. You alright? Hello, nice to meet you. You are good looking lads, are you? <laughs> wow! Right there, V-Boy, do you want to take them to their room? Yes, See you in a bit, boys. Bring on the weekend! Right, move it along, Reva. I think there's a certain someone that Josh is in a hurry to see. <laughs> Hello. You all right? Hello. you. Why are you so brown? Because <laughs> I'm so brown. Oh, my God. Ah. See you in a bit. Oh, brown. I oh, know, I've probably caught this one and I. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you want to tell us, Chloe? Seeing Josh for a little bit back at home. Mm. And it's not really ended yet. Ooh. I'll say <laughs> Well, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me drop my drink, man. Oh, come here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good, thanks. <laughs> so, are you single? Yeah. How old are you? 23. Will you get with people? Yeah, obviously, yeah. Obviously, if they're fit and they've got a personality, then... It's personality overlooks, then. Yeah, well, obviously, What personally. about you, Josh? <laughs> hey, Josh. <laughs> Are you going to get with people? Person. Who's that person? <laughs> Find out. <laughs> Chloe is looking really, really good. She looks, yeah, looks stunning. I'm excited to just to have a good weekend with her. Not just about you, though, is it, Josh? What do you think of me, either? Oh, yeah, she's fair. Bit of you, yeah. <laughs> Happy days. I go see the girls. Come on. I'll speak to you after. Hi. 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 <laughs> Boy, she looks fucking unreal, though, doesn't she? So what do you think of the new guests? Obviously, I know Josh, don't I? What, how are you feeling about the situation? The fact that I've been trying to fizzle it out, I'm thinking when I came here, when I, like, get that back, was, it would have fizzled out. I'm not sure Josh is fizzling out now. Yeah, no, she looks stunning, man. I'm just going to try and have a good time, have a good weekend, without it being too serious with him. My head's gone, Jaden. I need help. Really? Yeah. Josh has got a sick body, though. Honey. Hoo-hoo! Seems like things might be heating up for Chloe. Oh, yeah, what? You want me to, want me to spice your life? Yes, please. Her, spice her right up. Get me sorted. Unless these two have got anything to say about it. They're finally here! Woo! I'm so excited. So, so excited. Fine. We go, we go, we go, we go every night! Because it's lacrosse playing uni mates, 22 year old Erica and 21 year old Alex. So we met on the lacrosse team. I was in my second year of uni. This is a bit of a weird We knew like, straight away we were friends. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that you can't deal with it. Deal with it. And now uni's over. Is it time for real life to start? Finished. We're done. And we're going to go party hard. Yeah, we're going to party hard. <laughs> cool. With that approach, something tells me you're single. I love being single. I'm great, you know. I take myself out. Strong, independent woman. And we normally ask, ready to mingle about now. My mum told me not to do anything bad this weekend. Okay. <laughs> the sex. <laughs> you have to be at home. Oh. oh no, you missed Erica. But there's always someone around here to help you with your aim. Ready, right, I want to see energy. Come on, here we go. Yes, Hi, guys. guys! Welcome to Hot What's your name? Alex. Alex. I'm Erica. Oops. Right, ladies, you want to come with me? My name's oh. Jordan. I am the temporary head rep. I am the guest satisfaction temporary manager. Head rep. If you have not seen, I am everywhere. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> come with me. Bye. Bye. Oh, you seem very lively. Jayden! Wake up, Jaden. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. How are you? Very well. Good. Can you 
Can you please take these drinks? I'm just spilling them everywhere. <laughs> um, you've got a ladies, I'll get your cases. Thank so you. So we've added a new twist to um, your guys' arrival. Fuck. Sure. We found the cringiest photo we could. What is this? And um, put okay. it in the, and put it in your bedroom. Oh, oh my god, that's it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, Erica and Alex. Yeah. Where are you both from? Basingstoke. So you've got Erica and Alex from Basingstone. No, she's... where did you say? Basingstone. Basingstoke. What is it called? <laughs> What's happened? Basingstoke. Oh. <laughs> what the hell it was it like? So Basingstoke. So how old are you both? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-two? Right, I'll come speak to you girls in a bit. It was very nice chatting, actually. <laughs> very See you lovely. later, Thank you. See you later, girls. Jaden gave us such a warm welcome, definitely. We had a good chat as well. Well, just wait until you meet these two chatterboxes, then. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Alex. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Josh, right? Matthew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What, are you both, you both single, then, or...? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, we both are. I've been seeing Chloe quite a bit. Yeah. <gasps> Don't worry, girls. Yeah, Guests worry. come first around what? here. <laughs> oh, God, they look pretty close. Imagine if you just came here and was like, nah, actually, she's way more peg than Saxon, a bit Chloe. What, are you a bit nervous? No, I don't know what I am. Yeah. <laughs> I was nervous before, I think. Oh, like, oh shit, shit myself, aren't I? Yeah. Sure. Like, Josh is very good looking, mm. but, like, I love it that he likes Chloe. And what about Matt? Oh, shit. My hair's not fresh, man. It's <laughs> 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 well the cap's on. Matt's, oh, I think Matt's very good looking. He's mm. lovely. And he's just a really nice, outgoing guy, so... Well, that's a decent start. You should dislocate your shoulder more often, El Jefe. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Oh. What is that? <laughs> Get that off right this second and switch that about. Have you not seen the best what thing about this, though? What the hell? Fish hey there, I'm Fisher Bell. Fisher Bell? It's Fish Jenna. But, yeah, I need a shower and I'm going to have to obviously just chill now, guys. I need some serious support on this. And I'll let you keep your badge on for the time being. Well, yeah, so lots gone on today, David. Would well you like done. to follow me? I'd love to follow you. As you know, the mantra is back to basics, guests come first. We thought yeah. we'd change up a little bit. Oh, God. As I've now taken over. You ready? Back to basics. El Jefe comes first! Oh, that's so cute. We're like a little family. We all take care of each other. And like all families, there's always the bossy, self-important one. Right then, troops, can I get an attention? Attention! So, our general commander-in-chief, David, has taken wound and injury. So I, Jordan, his second in command, Yay! and now a charge on the battlefront with me. I have Chloe! Yay! And secondly, we have Jaden! You're staying in! Reva's <laughs> coming out! <laughs> Gonna get messy. Gonna get wavy. And the best night ever, because it's Jordan's night tonight. Yay! Fuck, this is going to be the best night in the world. It's going to be a great night for someone, Jordan. Hello, guys. This this Swedish nurse. You want to call? Boy. Oh, you did it. Oh, oh, get off me. You're hurting me. And that someone is not going to be Josh. That's me. Your boyfriend's come from out of, the, out of town. And you want to sell me this now? And Tash isn't going to have a great time of it either. Yeah, I like Why it. Why the fuck are you staying in my bed every night? I won't then. then. I'm not trying to be angry at you. I'm trying to understand the situation. Classic. Welcome, weekenders, to the first taste of what we have to offer you. Although Chloe's already given Josh a sneak preview of what's on the menu. And with El Jefe out of action, Jordan's had his first swig of power. The man, the myth, the legend, Jordan Davis. <sighs> Crowd goes wild. <sighs> Watch out, boys. I think he's in wingman mode. How's it going with Chloe tonight? It's good. It's going on really well. Like, he's just literally just like, picked up from where we just left off. And so, it seems, is Chloe. Is there anyone to caught your eye? Like, there's one person you had to pick. Um, you can say Josh, I'm literally not offended. <laughs> I would not kiss Josh, no. Any of you can yeah, say Josh, it would literally just not bother me. I promise you, honey. Me and that guy with Josh. He's like, he's 
Well, Chloe, it was worth a try. I just think that the dynamic between us and the guys, like, it's just more kind of... Friendship. Friendship, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, friendship. Jordan, there's a saying about that, don't you, Jordan? There's big ships, there's little ships. And the best ships are friendships. Oh, sorry. What the hell? <laughs> Chloe, step aside, bitch. Are you ready? Are you ready? Three things that you put in your ear. Uh, earbuds, uh, fuck headphones, um... You're gonna kiss a girl rep of your choice. Six out of ten, seven out of ten. Do you recommend to friends and family? <laughs> Three things your mum and dad do in the bedroom to pleasure each other. Five. Have sex. Four, use three, toys. Two, one, two. I really hope Chloe's parents aren't watching this. But where does that leave you with Josh? So I didn't want to ruin his time as soon as he got there and be like, oh, just to put it straight, I don't want anything. Because I want no stars at the minute. <laughs> well, as long as you don't give him the wrong impression. Right now, touch his penis quickly. <laughs> it is just picked up from where we left off back in the UK, so, I mean, cannot complain. You hear that, Weekenders? Yeah. Chloe's not the only one ringing a little bell. The medical team will be with you shortly, David. Hi, David. My Whoa. name is Helga, and I'm here Hello, to help David. you. I'm Helga. Yes, this, this, this Swedish nurse. I'm here to help you. What would you like? Oh, watch my arm. You're very, very, very poorly boy. <laughs> Ow! Oh. Callum's outfit locked. Stunning. A bit more gentle. Oh, yeah, that's better. Oh. Oh, you know, I'll just carry on. Why is it always me that has to massage David's feet? That's a really good technique, Callum. I don't know what you're doing, Callum. Oh. But I think it's working. Oh, I love people touching me. We better leave them to it, hadn't we, Weekenders? Oh. Because we all know what you get if you let Jordan loose with a massage oil. Yep. Slippery nipples all round. <laughs> Definitely having a good first night. I really like this bar. I think it's a great atmosphere. Everyone's got some high energy. Better than I expected, and um, yeah, happy to be here. But there's always somebody who's a bit too happy to be here. Isn't there, Chloe? Not feeling him, are you? I don't know who you're feeling, so you're feeling someone but not Josh. Why are you looking at me like that, Bob? Chloe, <laughs> What? Now I'm really confused, Chloe. Oh my god. And literally Josh is just there. And you want to sell me this now? Here's a fuzzy for the minute, that's all, yeah. You're a fucking curveball, you. Why are you throwing such a curveball at me? It's so late on. Do you know what I think it is? I think it's because Josh was there. I realised I, I didn't want to be with Josh. Oh, there's Jaden. But at the end of the day, I've talked to Ashley to me, I've got no loyalty to her. Me and Jaden must get home once we eat. Yeah. He's fucking scared. Hopefully, she doesn't remember it and, like, we can just get over it, because I've got my lips sealed, I'm not going to tell anyone. But if she does remember it, then we've got a whole other problem on our hands. My advice, Weekenders, go back to the hotel and make like it never happened. Okay, well, should we hold hands then, see if you can? Yes. Okay, well, it's almost perfect. So, Reva, you've probably forgotten about your chat with Chloe already. <laughs> she don't drink them, she likes it. Yo! Reva! And Jade said he likes her as well. No! Oh my god. Because they told me not to say anything. Who are? This was going to tell you, but I couldn't tell anyone else. Reva! Don't you know I can't keep secrets? Because I'm going to tell everybody now. <laughs> You're going to have more than a sore head in the morning, Chloe. <laughs> and she's not the only one. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my God. Right, you need to get in touch. Let me take your <gasps> shoes off. And did I forget anybody? Jordan's home at last, baby! Jordan, get out right now. Right now. Why? Oh, it's fine. I can't get out the fucking curtain. I'm stuck. Okay, Jordan. Get to sleep. 
And now wake up, because it's your big moment. El Jefe's out of service. It's your chance to show us how a morning should be run. I'm going to say hi. Can I have an orange juice? <laughs> just keep going, just go. Bang, 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 bang. Not going well so far, is it? Hi. Um, we just wanted a bit of assistance. I'm very needy in the morning, so I need my juices in the morning. I'm sure you do. Yeah, I just want orange juice and a pineapple juice, that's right. And you're not the only demanding early bird, are you? No. El Jefe is tinkling his little bell again. Well, he can't get his own breakfast sausage now, can he? Hey, hey. Oh, Reva, I've been through the wars, I'll tell you that. I have. What do you want first? Sausage, please. I hope you enjoyed your brekkie, El Jefe. But for me, it was missing that vital ingredient of the perfect weekend of ill breakfast. A fresh, piping hot slice of gossip. We'll do some water aerobics. Yeah, shall we? I said gossip. Come on, Callum. Get stuck in. Oh, God. Come on. If it's not something so I don't Reva came know. in last night and oh, told me. What happened? That Chloe told Jaden that she likes him and she's kind of liked him from the beginning. Yeah. So, essentially, Chloe may have stuck it on Jaden last night. I'm fucking raging. I'm absolutely fucking raging. I can't finish this reception shift. I'm raging. I don't trust Jaden anyway, so I don't know what's gone on there. And now, can I trust Chloe? Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. How are you guys? Not bad. Not bad. I'd like to know something before you start and before whatever you tell yep. me. Jaden and Chloe. What was they like last night? I'm, I'm, this is news to me. What, 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 what? Curveball, something happened, do you reckon? Oh. I didn't see him doing anything, but they were chatting. You're fuming, aren't you? I'm fucking fuming. You find this out, but can you please smile a bit more? Yeah, you do need to smile a We've bit more. We've got guests, they can't be finding out what's going on. We need your positive. Yeah, just smile, Tash, because Jaden and Chloe have probably forgotten all about it. I've always found CJ. Coming to an end now, let's just... I like you a lot as a friend. You obviously are attractive as well. But, like, in terms of the ag and the backlash in front of the guests, we need to kind of chill out with this. We do. Now is probably not the best time to tell you Tash already knows. Another girl drama. She knows. She knew. Mm. Yep. Because of what? Because of me. I think she's more pissed off than him. I just want a little chat with you. Well, <laughs> with me about what? About what happened last night. What about then? I don't know. You tell me. Have you had a chat with Chloe, haven't you? About how you both feel about each other? This is more than I can handle defo. So I'll tell you, she wanted to go and get with me. She wanted to go get with me, and I said no a hundred times. I kept saying no. I'm not going to just go and snake her out like that because I don't think she deserves it. I think she had a shit time in here. You fucking did what you did with Callum. She has every right to feel any way she wants, and, and she's my friend at the end of the day. I'm not going to go and stab her in the back for something she said when she was absolutely pissed. For me, you're not my fucking super 100% priority. Yeah, I like Why her. Why the fuck are you staying in my bed every night I then? I won't then. Maybe. I'm not trying to be angry at you. I'm trying to understand the situation. Well, that went well. What we need is a high-energy stand-in head rep to make sure the guests don't notice. Guys, can we please gather on the guest balcony, please? As acting head rep, I've got to make sure no drama happens, which is why Bora Bora is the perfect place. And the plan going out is... Drum roll, please! Yeah. We have myself going out! Yeah. We have... Jada! Tasha! Our lead in today is. Put your hands in the air! Come on! Really? No, no, swear. Swear down. Swear down. Chloe and Reva, you've got to say and obviously take care of David because, you know, he needs the best attention. And it looks like El Jefe isn't the only one in need of a bit of attention. Could you just put me my hairspray back in my bag? And what's the treatment? Hi. Hey. Hi. Are you Natasha and Reva? Well, looks like the writing's on the wall for Jaden, then. Do not enter Jaden. Hi. 
man, if you think that sounds fun, here's your chance to win an amazing holiday to Ibiza plus £1,000 spending money courtesy of Party Hard Travel. You and three pals will jet off to Ibiza for a five-night stay. Plus, you'll enjoy the ultimate events package. Entries are free and you must be 18 or over to enter. Entries close at 10am on Monday the 13th of April. Well, weekenders, we're going to need a very big beach blanket for this beach party. Because we don't want Tash sitting next to Jaden. Not after Callum told Tash about Chloe. But no one's told Josh, who still likes Chloe. And she's not even here. And after all that, I've lost track of time, Callum. All I've seen is, it's five o'clock somewhere vicious. Cheers! But it is time for a bit more gossip, wouldn't you say? Who's up for round two? Me! What happened last night? What didn't happen? What's the crack? Seems just pretty chilled, man. Yeah. Like, you know how it just always has been. Like, it's just rekindled, like, Good. straight away. Like, yeah, it's been, like, pretty, much, pretty back much perfect, to be honest with you. I ain't gonna lie to you. And now, I hope she don't get too fucking steamy again. So, you're hoping for a cuddle club tonight with her? Well, more than a cuddle club, isn't it? But, yeah. Hey! Hey! You know, when I was at the beach party, I was, you know, I did kind of sit back and think, you know what, I do kind of wish Chloe was here. Sorry, Josh, but Chloe's busy with El Jefe's package. <laughs> Bag yourselves, weekenders. Hi, girls. So, this. Oh, what's this? This letter. Dear David, I understand that you have fallen victim to a rogue pedalo and injured yourself. Please accept this care package. I hope it gives you some enjoyment during your incapacitation. <laughs> what, what is that? Incapacitation. <laughs> what? Incapacitation. What the hell? Inca incapacitation. Incapacitation. Yeah. I hope this gives you some enjoyment during your incapacitation. You know what you mean. It's okay. <laughs> what a tree. I'm these as well. They look dirty. <laughs> I mean, I only actually need the sling on for two weeks. But even if it starts to feel better, I might keep it on. Because at the end of the day, I can milk this for all it's worth. Don't you worry, David. For once, Jordan and Callum are doing a wonderful job. Don't know why. So the, the reps have really like, not went out of the park with this one. Literally had the best day ever. And for once, even Tash is having a good time. Probably because Chloe isn't there. What has Chloe said to you? She's not asked about how you feel about it, about what she's done. She's not asked. He told me, obviously, he didn't reciprocate what she said yeah. in so many words. He said that he said she's an attractive girl and obviously he gets on with her and stuff. So at the minute, it's not Bowie by. It's boy not sure. OK. It's actually a case of, boy, see you in a minute, because it's time for the eight-person weekend of Ilkonga back to the hotel. Right. Just be careful of David's dislocated shoulder, Tash, if you feel the need to cry on it. He's done stuff, you've done stuff, get over it. And you can get over it, but he can't seem to, yet he's still jumping in bed with you. That's not right, hon. I know. He's mugging you off. I do know that you like the boy, but don't get treated like a piece of shit for no one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just don't understand it. Like, either don't speak to each other or go and shag. You know what, David? I totally know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? I just said I did. Well, it looks like we need something to take Tash's mind off it. Can someone teach me? Do you turn around? I was going to say, show her what's in your lovely package, but I tell you what will work just as well. A twerk shop. <laughs> that was great. That was right, you ready? Do it again, do it again, do it again. I love how you do, do it as you ride in the ditch, you know what to do. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes! Is that good? That was well done! Great. Well, that is certainly a distraction. Not the whole. What are you doing? How about you, Matt? Fancy a twerk? Oh, yeah, just take your top off. That is quite impressive, to be fair. Yeah, it's always eye candy, isn't it? Always. When a boy takes their top off, I was like, oh, oh, oh that's nice. <laughs> but as my mother always said, if you're going outside, don't forget something warm. 
Mate, get your top on, brother. We're going. Thank you, Jaden. And I've got a question for Chloe. And no, it's not have you forgotten your blouse again. It's Josh or Jaden. I've kind of had a slight inkling that she might have liked me, but why now? Especially when someone that she's seen on the outside has come in. I'm just speechless, to be honest. Well, now's not the time to lose your big boy voice because you're leading the night, Jaden. Big cheers to everyone's last night in Ibiza for the guests. Let's smash it tonight. It's going to be insane. And don't let Chloe get the wrong idea. The girls have brought us a gift for the free drinks. It's called the Blocks of Doom. Especially when you ask her to have a fumble in your sack. What is it? What is it? Give a fucking lap dance. This is actually my first ever lap dance, and I'm getting it from Chloe, so, again, I really can't complain with that. Who knows? Maybe she's forgotten all about Jaden. This whole Jaden saga. As soon as I came in, I fancied him, but I wouldn't have done that to Tash. But then I thought, do you know what? She did to me, so I'm going to turn... We're not going to go back now. So, do you know what? Yeah, Jaden, I fancy her. So, I thought, you know, as active head rep, I keep saying that as much as I want, because I will. You enjoy your moment, Jordan. Let's just keep everyone apart who might potentially cause drama. Uh, it's probably a bit late for that, mate. Isn't it, Tash? I th honestly feel like we need a professional here. Yeah? <laughs> hey. Hi. Are you Natasha and Reva? We are. Hi, I'm Dr. David. Please take a seat. Hi, Dr. David. Oh, sorry. Please sit down. I am Dr. David. I am a relationship specialist. I have a triple master's within relationship therapy. I can therapise anybody. So, does a toxic relationship have you feeling down in the dumps? No. Uh, yes, sorry. Yes. 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 If so, ladies, you're not alone. Dr. David is always here to help. <laughs> Miss Asher, is there a problem? Sorry. <laughs> OK. Don't let him get to you like that. You need to think about things that you most value in life. You need to put that into all the relationship. Now we're going to personally speak about your experiences. Natasha. Hi. When you speak about feelings or what you are, how does it go down? Um, we just go around in circles. Like a sack of shit? Yeah. <coughs> this is the definition of a toxic relationship. I figured. Now, my advice to you would be, you don't let Jaden sleep in bed with you anymore. Maybe put a sign on your door. He is not to get in that bed with you tonight. Everything I'm being told, I already know. So when Dr David is telling me that my relationship with Jaden is toxic, I do agree. So yeah. I will not be defeated. I will, I will not, not be defeated. defeated. I will not let boys run my world. I will not let boys run my world. I will take over. I will take, take over. over. This relationship is mine. This, this relationship, relationship is mine. It's under my control. It's under my control. What I say goes. What I say goes. I will not let boys run my world. But you will let Jaden run the night. And he's been doing so well. I mean, no one's passed out or needed mouth to mouth. I said no one needs mouth to mouth yet, Chloe. It's me, for God's sake. I love having a flirt. Yeah, I mean, like, there's a lot of chemistry between me and Chloe. It's definitely going really well. You know, Jaden, I think Operation Avoid Chloe might be working. I actually don't know how she's going to play this, to be honest. But Chloe just be Chloe, I guess. I think Josh would agree with you there, Jaden. And regulars to Weekend of Ill could have predicted it. 
Though, I don't think any of us were expecting this, though. Were we, Weekenders? They definitely weren't expecting it. I feel like they did. Because as it. soon as you went round, I saw Jordan's face, and he was like... And it takes a lot to impress a rep of his long service. And he's not the only one lifting his jaw up from the floor. I'm bonus that Erica does have myself. Yeah, you did mention it a couple of times, though, bro. Just a few. Go on, Jaden, give us a twirl, because that was a successful night. Just a pity what's waiting for you back at the hotel. Right, ever get changed, get comfy. And here we see Alex modelling the casual comfies popular this season. While Erica makes a grand entrance in more formal blanket wear. And for the guys, Josh is looking ready for action in the ever popular sports casual. Obviously, I didn't get to share with her last night because she got two lot of power leg and was all thrown everywhere. So, yeah, it'd be nice to actually share a bit with her tonight. Oh my god, you're all about the Josh about on it. <gasps> Feel it. Whatever you're doing, Josh, it sounds like it's working. Oh my god. Oh my god, the pain is unscrushing. <laughs> I didn't want to feel pressured into anything like that, or neither did she, and I'm glad that we do want to keep things private still. And where one door to Cuddle Club opens, another door to Cuddle Club closes. No, not there. There was no note on Reva's door. Do not enter Jaden. I think he's got the message now, Tash. I presume she means me. She does. It makes it feel a bit weird, to be fair, that was like a restricted area that I can't go into. Tasha's room says, do not enter Jaden. David put a note on the door. I said, I wasn't going to enter. I was going to sleep on Reva's bed, but now I want to enter more. No, I don't. Leave it, be. Looks like you're on your own tonight, Jaden. While Jordan's being kept company by the voices in his head. Feeling better, El Jefe? Good. I'm glad someone is. Sore heads, girls. Because while you've been out of action, David, there has been lots of action. Chloe has renewed her subscription to Cuddle Club with Josh, even though she preferred to be in more than just a Cuddle Club with Jaden. But he's been locked out of Tash Club. While Reva and Callum, they form their very own breakfast club. I know, El Heffa, you leave Jordan in charge for one weekend. I mean, don't get me wrong, Jordan's done a fantastic job of leading the team. But do you know what? I just feel like it's just not 100% unless I'm there doing it. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. All line up here, please. I'm back now, bitches. <laughs> it's no longer Jordan's world. El is back. And secondly, Jordan, whilst you're on reception, I'd like you to change it all back to how it was. Oh, shit. You couldn't just give me that little ounce of just, you know what, Jordan, you've done such a good weekend this weekend. He just, he won't give it to me, see? He just won't let me just have the power. I think Jordan might be feeling a bit frustrated, and not just in the obvious way. Hey, sexy moo. You look sexy. What would you do if you were me? Because um... my gut's saying leave, but my head's saying stay. All right, Jordan, but for now, the show must go on. This place would not be the same without me. Exactly. Like, these guys, they need me there. I'm like the big, annoying, older brother. Oh, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. I don't want to be rude, but does anyone else think that maybe it's the older bit that's the problem? I mean... How, how old can you be here during a season? Can you do Grandad Weekender? <laughs> we could. And if we did, Granny Chloe would still be making things overcomplicated. Nothing, like, literally nothing's changed. Just, like, both like each other, both like each other's company. Like, and just carry on being that way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, why fix something that ain't broken? No, that's fucking true. Do you, know what, do you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely pleased I got to spend the night with her because uh, I didn't get to the night before. So, yeah, it was nice to have that. We're pleased for you, Josh. But Erica and Matt might have left things just a little too late. 
Do you know what? I actually like have a thing for like bald men. I think. Do you? I think you look good shaved. To be fair. Right, yeah. that's it then. Someone shaving. <laughs> but I was sitting there, and I had like an epiphany, and it was kind of like I'm fed up with having hair now. <laughs> the on-site barber will see you now, Matt. Do you nervous, Callum? Huh? No, shave it. Someone else do it. It's starting to sweat, Callum. Sick. He looks so spicy. Yeah. Bald, definitely. He looks good though, doesn't he? You look great. <laughs> Right, guys, so um, I was just wondering if you'd be able to fill out these feedback forms. Yeah, of course. Just because, unfortunately, guys, it's time where we need you to start packing. Yeah, it's time to brush off those hair clippings and shake the water out of last night's outfit one last time. Jordan, five. Okay, from 2000s. Well, I'm just going to give Chloe a ten, just like her face. The whole day and night was just one, I think it was one of the best nights out I've ever had. I can't fault the reps at all, especially Jordan, Jaden. Love them for bits. Definitely yeah. keep in touch with them as well. The best weekend of my life. I didn't even think it'd be this good, but it's been amazing. Yeah. For what I wanted from this weekend, it, like I've done everything that I've wanted to do and and more. I think we genuinely struck gold with the boy guests. Alright. Stay soon, yeah? Love you both. I know we can go. Stay soon, alright? Hey! Hey! My two faves. Give it up, do you mean? Have a safe night. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. They were amazing, mate. They were amazing. I'm, say, I'm taking this picture with me. Wait, that picture is Jordan with you? Hello. Oh, come round, we'll come round. I want you to keep it. Hello, Hello. 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 We're going to continue talking and like get, meet back up over in the UK and just, you know, just see where things go. Bye. You know, what a way to leave. <laughs> you never know, maybe in a few years' time, maybe he's the one for you. Yeah, exactly. It's just, I just genuinely don't want a relationship with him. Right guy, wrong time. Possibly. Mm -hmm. What about right guy, wrong girlfriend? That's Jaden, in case you're wondering. So I need to have a conversation now and it just needs to get sorted. Everything needs to come out in the open. Yeah, it does. Who's going to be first, then? If you do like each other, then you like each other. Like, don't let me stand in the way. No, but... no, because we don't like each other. This is what's weird. Mm. We never once thought, oh, I'll get with you. It's not going to happen again. <laughs> Jaden, Jaden, mate, they're talking about you. And like I said, yeah, it was more me instigating it. Oh, oh God, here we go. Your turn, Jaden. What are you talking about? You. Just, <sighs> just the other night and stuff. Oh, yeah. Just to confirm, you don't fancy each other. No. <laughs> Well, like I said, I, I think it's good looking, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and get with it. Right, okay. It's going forward. Going Fine. forward, just forget it. <laughs> right, good. You stop being agitated now, yeah? Oh, I can forget, I can forget things. Obviously, I'm, I'm not innocent in this whole thing, I get it. I just want an answer from the boy. It's a yes or a no. Do you want to be seeing each other or not? Tash. Yes or How no? How many times you ask me a question? I don't, like, I don't want to answer it because it annoys me. Why don't you want to answer it? Because it frustrates me. Because it frustrates me because I've told you I like so I need you to with confirm people, so. it. No. Right, fuck off then. Because you're annoying me now. You're shouting in my face because I've told you something oh, over that. and over right, again. We'll just leave it. Now we're we'll leaving it. He wasn't giving me a straight answer. It was not a yes or and it wasn't a no. And if it's not a yes or a no, then it's obviously a no, isn't it? Yes. I mean, no. Or do I mean yes? I, I don't know. Says yes, then says no, then says no, then says yeah. I'm done with it. I'm fair. fucking done with it. You either see me or you're not. Yeah. You need to know where you stand, Tasha. It's not fair. Done. Where is he now? That's all. Cop. Get me a cop. I've done fuck all wrong recently. I've not done anything. I have. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut the door. Right, Tash. You tell me you like me, but then you act like you don't like me as well. No, I don't. No, I don't, then. Wow. It's the same principle, look. You can't deal We're with done. it, look. You can't deal We're with it the other way around. I think it might be really, really actually done this time. Maybe. Fucking done. I'm fucking sick of him. Sick of his face.
but it's definitely, maybe, probably, possibly on for Callum and Reva. It's pretty simple. Like, I don't want to speak to anybody else. Um, I'm kind of hoping that you're in the same boat as me. And is Jordan actually maybe really possibly done as well? Forever? And it's just like, can you really get any more out of this? I'm, I'm at the peak of my rapping ability at the minute. 